Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Maximus. This is video three, and today we're talking about the gain knobs and the saturation knobs. So something very important, especially in compression or mastering or anything like that, are gonna be these knobs here. So they both control gain, but they are very different, and it's very smart to really realize what these things are doing and what you wanna do with them. So let's take a look at our mid-range here, and let's see how that's sounding here. So we can kind of see that our signal is kind of hovering in this general area and sometimes bounces a little bit here. And let's say we want our signal a little bit louder, maybe more so in the center kind of area. Now this is the knob that you want to reach for because this pre knob is increasing the gain before it starts compressing. So it's bringing it louder into the compressor. So let's take a look at this and increase this pre knob and see how that changes. So now we're kind of having the peaks over this center line here. So maybe that's a range that we want to be in, for example. And then from there, we can maybe start doing our own type of compression or limiting or any stuff like that. Maybe we want to bring it up too to get a little bit more of that compression going. So now we can see it's crossing this line because we have increased our pre. So if we had this playing and then put this back to default, nothing right now is happening because our signal hasn't even gotten past this area here where our limiting actually starts. So that's something to drive home is this pre is basically happening before it goes in the compressor and it's kind of setting your levels with each band properly so you can apply your compression the way that you want to. And the same goes for the low, the mid, the high, and the master. So that's something to keep in mind. Now for the post knob here. So let's think of this here. So let's say you have a, a mix here in your session and you have your master going through Maximus and you have pretty much everything dialed in the way you want it to. So what's the next thing you do? We're going to print a mix or print a master and then we're going to take that to different spots. We're going to listen to in different headphones and different speakers and different environments to kind of get a reference of what our master is going to sound like. Now let's say, for example, that for the most speakers that you reference your song with, you have your low end a little too much. It's kind of drowning out the mid range. And like I said before, the message is in the mid range and you don't want to sacrifice the mid range for low end or for high end because then your whole mix is going to fall apart. So knowing that you can come back to your session and you can go to your low band over here and then you can get to this post knob here, maybe back that down by like a DB or a DB and a half or something like that. Because remember these moves here in mastering, especially for individual bands like this carries a lot of weight. So you don't want to drop it down by like six DB because then you're going to lose a lot of low end. So experiment with smaller values and that's where this is going to come in handy. Had you reached for the pre knob, you would have changed your entire compression settings. So like I said before, if we were in our, uh, our mid or something like that, and we had our high up here, and this is where it's starting to limit and we like that sound and we said, oh, that's too loud. And we brought this back down. Now we lost our entire compression. So that's something to keep in mind between these pre and post gain. Yes, they're both gain, but in the situation that you have, it's very different how you go upon using these different knobs. So moving on from there, we have our saturation. And saturation is nice, especially a little bit can go a long way, either on our top end, our low end, a little bit on our low end, but also our mids too, to kind of give our sound a little bit more character and kind of bring it to life a little bit. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. And now we have our controls here. We have our threshold and then we have our ceiling. So let's take a look at our mid here and kind of listen to this and see what it sounds like once we apply this type of saturation. So as we turn this to the left here, what we can see is this oh, it snapped back here. So we turn this to the left and then we have our ceiling knob here. So this whole thing is kind of lit up, lit, lit up red. Now, as we move our ceiling, So down here, this is kind of exaggerated, but let's bring this up and kind of listen to see what that sounds like. So we can hear that distortion, that saturation going on. Now that's a very exaggerated sound, but that's kind of the, the point is to kind of exaggerate what we're going to be doing and then back it off to kind of dial in these subtleties. Now there's also a different way we can do that as well. Let's turn this back down here. Now back here in Maximus, if we bring this to the right, let's alt click our ceiling, and we bring this to the right, now we have almost like a window kind of section here. Now with the ceiling, we can move this up and down right here and kind of hone in exactly where we want this saturation to take place. And we can drag this down a little bit more and more. 
and kind of hone in where we want it to. So maybe let's say this window is a little bit too small. That's where we or drag up this threshold and kind of apply this saturation to more of our signal. So here's also, again, another exaggerated thing. So we bring that up here. Now with this type of, of effect, like I said, a little bit goes a long way and kind of makes it a little bit maybe more... I don't know, analog -y, retro. There's a lot of different adjectives you can apply to it, but that's the the main concept. And it kind of spices it up. It brings it more, it makes it more exciting. There's a very interesting one in Ozone, and it's the exciter where you can have different types of distortion and different amounts for different bands. And that's the same concept here. So these are kind of the controls you'd want to do that with as well. And I, what I always kind of do, especially on the high end and the mid, I give a little bit extra on the high end because this kind of brings it out a little bit more. It kind of opens it up a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty much how these uh, these knobs here work, and especially the gain. So these are kind of the most important aspects of Maximus going into this. In later videos, we're going to talk about our, um, our envelopes here, the different curves that you can do with our attack and your release and so on and so forth. So stay tuned for those. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.